okay now uh, we have understood uh, art and science of analyzing so let's understand some more uh, things in this uh, topics yeah varsha will be you will be getting the recording but don't depend on the recording uh, it is better whatever you understand in life then you can refresh in recording okay that's how i do normally people get recording they don't watch it for years together so <clears throat> be here stay here okay okay so uh, okay so now we'll understand revenue cost expenses roc and profit after tax and all these things and then we will go we have 990 shares if you remember those who remember uh, we shortlisted from 4109 shares to 990 shares with a stroke of a filter market capitalization greater than 1000 crore rupees we got 909 companies once you understand this i will share with you a formula to shortlist out of 4000 you will have only a uh, 70 companies good profitable companies to further analysis aisa nahi 70 ho gaya to bas invest kar diya nahi then technical analysis will come further investigation but in next half an hour in next half an hour you will have a formula and understand the formula formula to theek hai understand the formula how you got those 70 companies to further analyze करेक्ट सो फोर थाउजेंड से सेवेंटी पे आ जाएंगे अपन इन नेक्स्ट थर्टी मिनट्स ओके सो लेट्स गो हेड रेवेन्यू वॉट इज रेवेन्यू रेवेन्यू इज द टोटल सेल्स फ्रॉम द कोर बिजनेस वॉट दे आर सेलिंग मारुति इज सेलिंग ऑल द कार सो वॉट इज अवर सेल्स फ्रॉम द टोटल कोर बिजनेस इनकम फ्रॉम द इंटरेस्ट अर्न सो दे मस्ट है मनी इन द बैंक सो दे आर गेटिंग द इंटरेस्ट फ्रॉम द बैंक फॉर दैट दैट विल ऑल्सो गेट एडेड इन द रेवेन्यू पैसा है भाई कंपनी के पास कितना पैसा आया साल भर में वो आ रहा है इनकम फ्रॉम डिविडेंट ऑफ शेयर ऑफ अदर कंपनीज दे माइट बी हैविंग डिविडेंट दे सेल इट इनकम फ्रॉम सेलिंग ऑफ द शेयर रेंटल इनकम सेल ऑफ लैंड पेटेंट्स एंड ऑल फ्रेंचाइजी इनकम एंड ऑल दिस आर रेवेन्यू फाइन एवरी वन इज ओके एवरी वन कैन अंडरस्टैंड ये तो कॉमन सेंस है राइट so this is how the company owns every company it is whether it infosys ho tcs ho maruti ho deepak nitrate ho uh, hindustan unilever ho everyone will have this uh, uh, total sales whatever sales services they are giving product they are giving whatever they are giving then money interest earned and all will come under revenue एक्सपेंडिचर दे विल हैव एक्सपेंडिचर रॉ मटेरियल एक्सपेंडिचर सैलरी बोनस गिनस सेल्स मार्केटिंग एडवर्टाइजिंग इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वाटर म्यूनसिपल टैक्सेस यूटिलिटीज रेंटल फॉर इनकम सो ऑल दीज आर एक्सपेंडिचर दिस ऑल मोस्टली सम और फुल विल बी डन बाय द कंपनीज ओके सो नाउ ऑपरेटिंग प्रॉफिट इबिट हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू heard this on tv ebit 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 okay if you are not heard go and watch cnbc for few days uh they will say ebit okay so kuch bahut rocket science nahi hai so let's understand ebit earning before income tax simple revenue kitna becha how much you sold in the year that is the revenue and interest and all what i listed एक्सपेंडिचर वॉट ऑल यू स्पेंड इन दर वॉट सैलरी यूटिलिटीज बिल्ली पानी खर्चा सब हुआ ओके नाउ ऑपरेटिंग प्रॉफिट इज रेवेन्यू माइनस एक्सपेंडिचर ओके सो दैट विल बिकम ई बीटा ई बीटा इज नथिंग बट हाउ मच दे हाउ मच वॉज देर रेवेन्यू थ्रू आउट द इयर एंड माइनस द एक्सपेंडिचर विल बिकम ebita earnings before income tax and amortization is ebita so next time you hear ebita on tv some anchor is sounding smart their ebita has increased and decreased and also you understand nothing revenue minus expenditure ho gaya apna ebita okay everyone okay simple okay roce then second is roce return on capital employed ओके रिटर्न ऑन कैपिटल एम्प्लॉयड इज नथिंग 
बट अर्निंग्स बिफोर इंटरेस्ट एंड टैक्स दैट इज ई बीटा अपन समझ गए वी हैव अंडरस्टूड ई बीटा नॉट अ बिग रॉकेट साइंस सो रिटर्न ऑन कैपिटल एम्प्लॉयड इज अर्निंग्स बिफोर इंटरेस्ट टैक्स डिवाइडेड बाय टोटल एसेट्स माइनस करंट लाइबिलिटीज ठीक है कुछ कुछ वर्ड समझ में आया ई बीटा तो समझ में आ गया अभी टोटल एसेट एंड करंट लाइबिलिटीज क्या है सो वॉट एवर मनी इज पुट इन द बिजनेस टोटल एसेट इज मोटे मोटे तौर पर नो बडी शुड कम टू माई होम विथ अ गन एंड वॉट यू आर टीचिंग एंड ऑल दिस इज रॉन्ग नो नथिंग इज रॉन्ग नाइंटी फाइव नाइंटी सिक्स परसेंट इज राइट वॉट एवर आई एम टेलिंग आई एम नॉट गोइंग इन टू फाइनल पॉइंट बट सिंस वी आर ऑल फ्रॉम नॉन फाइनेंस बैकग्राउंड इतना काफी है अपने लिए दिस इज इनफ टू नो फॉर अस टू नो एंड अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड विल बी एबल टू अर्न मनी कंसिस्टेंटली सो टोटल एसेट वॉट इज टोटल एसेट Total asset is whatever money is brought in by the business owner. When you start a business, you bring in some money, then you take loan from the bank, long term loans. So total of that money, whatever is put in by the shareholders and whatever is loan from the bank, it's like buying a apartment when or a home. When we buy a apartment or home. we bring in some let's say agar 1 crore ka apartment hai the apartment is worth 1 crore we bring in some 20 lakh rupees from our pocket we take loan of 80 lakh rupees from the bank so our total asset that apartment is worth 1 crore rupees and if we have put it on a rental income we are getting rent of 40000 per month 12 fours of 48 4 lakh 80000 so that is our income before interest we have to pay interest to the bank and we have to pay tax on that rent so 4 lakh 80000 is our earnings before interest and tax divided by 1 crore because that is the total asset value whatever we brought in from our pocket that is 20 lakh and 80 lakh loan 1 crore is the total assets and earning is that our rental income that becomes our ebita for our apartment same is for business total earning revenue minus expenditure is the profit profit divided by whatever money was brought in by the uh, shareholders and long term loan that is a roce so that is how roce is calculated okay no it is a liability it is okay even if it is liability but you are earning right so now tell me one thing roc everyone understood whatever i am saying roc calculation is everyone is clear roc calculation ha huh? roc only two Four, five. Okay, many are saying repeat. Okay, simple air. How many of you are have have bought apartment or a flat, a flat or a home? How many of you are planning to buy? Type yes. और यू हैव ऑलरेडी बॉट टाइप यस ठीक है आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टेल द इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट की ये यस बोला था अभी टैक्स नहीं भर रहा है डोंट वरी यू आर प्लानिंग ओके वेन यू आर बाइंग अपार्टमेंट यू ब्रिंग इन योर ओन मनी करेक्ट यू इन्वेस्ट सम मनी फ्रॉम योर पॉकेट लेट से इफ यू आर बाइंग अपार्टमेंट वर्थ वन करोड़ देन यू विल हैव टू ब्रिंग इन सम थर्टी लैक्स फ्रॉम यूर पॉकेट हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू एग्री यस you will go and take loan from the bank of 70 lakh rupees so 1 crore ho gaya right if you are buying a apartment for 1 crore 30 lakhs you have in your pocket 70 lakhs you will take from the bank so what is 30 lakh is shareholder money that you have brought in from your pocket so when someone is opening a company a businessman is opening his company he will have to bring some business money from his own pocket right same like we are going and buying the apartment so consider what your money you are putting in buying apartment as a shareholder money everyone okay yes no hello hello whatever 70 lakh you are taking from the bank 
take it as a long term loan because we are repaying in 20 years 15 years 20 years so that is a long term loan for any business if they are doing a business they will have to take business loan from the bank long term loan agreed yes no theek hai now <clears throat> you bought the apartment you put it on rent you gave it on rent ठीक है तो एक करोड़ का अपार्टमेंट वन करोड़ अपार्टमेंट यू गिव इट ऑन रेंट यू गॉट फॉर द कंप्लीट ईयर यू गॉट फाइव लैख रुपीस एज अ रेंटल इनकम एवरीवन ओके सो फार सो गुड सो कैन आई से यू गॉट फाइव लैख रुपीस ऑन अ वन करोड़ वर्थ प्रॉपर्टी यस yes. नहीं ओके okay नहीं भाई नंदन जी ओके okay नहीं या तो यस है या नो है इफ यू गेव इट ऑन रेंट यू गॉट फाइव लैख रुपीज एज अ रेंट ऑन अ वन करोड़ प्रॉपर्टी करेक्ट सो द टोटल कैपिटल एम्प्लॉयड बाय यू वाज वन करोड़ विच इंक्लूड्स योर मनी एंड बैंक मनी एंड यू गॉट फाइव लैख रुपीज सो रिटर्न ऑन कैपिटल एम्प्लॉयड is 5 lakh rupees which is 5% so if you are giving if you are buying a home or apartment for 1 crore rupees you are getting 5 lakh rupees that means for yearly uh, return on the capital employed is 5% everyone okay so far so good same way so now tell me one thing if you are going to buy a apartment in locality a the apartment is available for 1 crore rupees and in locality b let's say in bangalore the apartment is available for 1 crore and uh, in uh, let's say uh, nearby mysuru you are having a apartment for 1 crore but in bangalore you will get a rental of 6 lakh rupees on that 1 crore property in mysuru you will get 3 lakh rupees on that 1 crore property whether you will buy the property in bangalore or in mysur bangalore you will get 6 lakh rupees on 1 crore mysur you will get 3 lakh rupees on 1 crore so <clears throat> everyone is okay that return on capital employed we want more correct अभी मैं एक करोड़ का प्रॉपर्टी खरीदा तो आई वांट मोर रेंट राइट आई डोंट वांट टू गिव इट फॉर वन लैख और हाफ लैख सेम इज विद द आरओसी इफ अ बिजनेस आई एम एनालाइजिंग कितना पैसा डाला हाउ मच द प्रमोटर्स हाउ मच द बिजनेस ओनर्स पुट इन हाउ मच लोन दे टुक एट द एंड ऑफ द ईयर व्हाट इज देयर प्रॉफिट बिफोर इंटरेस्ट एंड टैक्स इज कॉल्ड आर fine aditi is asking what is the current liability in this example the current liability is you have the repair cost for the house so we don't consider it wo chhota mota chutku putku rahega something nal ka toot gaya ye ho gaya something you need for uh, maintaining the current you are paying the uh, property tax and all these are all current liability so don't go into that apna non finance logo ke liye utna jana hi zarurat nahi hai okay so <clears throat> no no interest you will pay out of that 5 lakh rupees correct when you are earning that 5 lakh or 6 lakh rupees as a rental this is earnings before interest and tax 5 lakh rupees or 6 lakh rupees rental on the house is before the interest and tax clear everyone is clear or at least majority people are clear simple hai correct to humko kya chahiye we want a company which is having a better roc theek hai bhai saab to let's go to screener okay now uh, what we are having is screens <coughs> create a new screener first of all 
okay first of all we had market capitalization okay market capitalization greater than 1000 okay so we wanted to invest in a company which is having valuation at least greater than 1000 crores okay we run this query we got 990 companies out of 4109 companies we shortlisted 990 companies correct agreed yes okay now okay what is the minimum we want to earn in stock market if you are investing in stock market see sat percent art percent you will get on fd some pf pay you will get 8% if you go for debt funds you will get 12% returns annualized returns guild fund debt funds you will get around 11 to 12% annualized returns if you are putting so much effort and if you are joining this class and learning about stock market minimum kitna chahiye apne ko 15% 15% can I say 15% to we want from if I'm investing uh, some money in stock market at least I should have 15% returns uh, year over year. So if I want 15% returns year over year at least I should be investing in a company which is giving a which is at least having return on its capital 15%. So I'll type and ROCE return on capital employed greater than 15%. Fair enough. If I don't you agree that a company which is at least getting a ROC of 15% will only be able to grow year over year and then only my share price will increase year over year 15% minimum criteria. Hai. So let's run this query and you from 990 we have removed around 400 companies now we have only 485 companies to invest into fine everyone okay yes no okay okay now let's go further now just hold on Okay, this I have explained my return on ROC. We have 15 to 20 percent increasing by profit after tax. So now first is we got revenue, then we have expenditure. Operating profit is revenue minus expenditure. Then we pay interest. The company will also have to pay interest, long-term interest, loan liya hai to interest to dinai padega. Agreed. Correct. So uh, revenue expenditure operating profit was revenue minus expenditure out of that expenditure it will have to give interest they will calculate depreciation and profit before tax will be so now everything is calculated whatever is left is profit before tax is operating profit minus interest minus depreciation then we bring tax expenses then profit after tax will be profit before tax tax pay karke profit after tax simple Yes, no. So we now we know what is profit after tax. So what is operating profit where we have not paid any interest to our long term loans. We have not paid any interest to our banks. We just said this is revenue. This is expenditure. This is our operating profit from operating profit. We got ROCE. <clears throat> then we paid our interest. We pay, paid our uh, we reduced depreciation. Then we paid tax. Whatever money is left after tax is profit after tax so it is called pat profit after tax can i have yes from all of you if you are clear about profit after tax yes okay now there is one thing called so this money belongs to the shareholder. This profit after tax belongs to shareholder. Now they can do anything. They can give dividend to themselves. They can go do party with that profit after tax. Whatever happens after profit after tax is the shareholder's money. Now, 
So there is something called ROE, return on equity. Equity was the money brought in by the shareholders without loan. Okay, so one crore property may say 30, 20 lakh was brought in by the you guys to buy the apartment. So ROE is calculated profit after tax divided by equity capital of the company, whatever money you got in. So 5 lakhs, if you got the rental, you paid the interest, let's say 3 lakh rupees, you paid the interest. Uh, then you paid some tax over and above that. So you are left with some 50,000 rupees after paying interest and tax on your home loan uh, from the earning of the apartment. You earned some 50,000. So that 50,000 is your money on 30, 20 lakh rupees, which you paid to buy that apartment. So return on equity is profit after tax divided by equity, whatever is the shareholder money. Everyone okay? Yes, no? Hello? Yes, okay. Now, simple hai, humko company, why, why we are learning all this is, we want to find good company. So if we want to find a good company, we have to invest in a company, whose ROE, return on equity, whatever shareholder are putting money, their return should be greater than 15% because 15% is all we want. We are not greedy fellows. If we get more than 15%, we'll be happy. But if we are doing so much of effort, we need 15%. So we write here in the screener uh, query, we write return on equity. That is ROE is greater than 15%. Okay, <clears throat> so we want return on equity greater than 15%. So we have put three filters, market capitalization, return on equity, capital employed, return on equity. We run this query, we get 397 results. So we have eliminated from 4,109, we have come down to 400 shares. We have eliminated around 90% of shares. We need not worry about those shares. We'll get good shares to invest into out of this 400 shares. 400 companies. Okay, so we have understood return on equity and uh, ROC and uh, this thing. Okay, so Aditi, you are okay till ROE? Okay, now let's go ahead. Okay, ROE. Okay, I'll just go through ROE. <clears throat> okay, ROE is, you had a profit. First you sold the material, you deducted expenditure, you had an operating profit. From operating profit, okay, operating profit you got from operating profit you paid the interest to the banks whatever loan you took you paid the interest then you will get some money now that is the taxable money okay everyone okay so far so good how about others okay that is a taxable money once this is a taxable money then you pay the taxes. After you pay the taxes, whatever money is left, now you have paid the interest also, you have paid the tax, whatever is left is your own money. You don't have to pay anything. You have paid already to the government, you have paid already to the banks. So that becomes profit after tax. So one profit was profit before interest and tax, earnings before interest and tax. One is profit after tax. You have paid your interest, you have paid your tax. This money belongs to you. Everyone okay? Yes, okay. Now there is a ratio called return on equity is whatever is left, whatever money is left after paying tax, after paying interest belongs to you. 
this money will be divided by the money you brought in to invest in that company like for in the case of apartment i'll start from the beginning first you gave that apartment on rent 5 lakhs you earned as a uh, rent from that apartment from that 5 lakh you paid 3 lakh rupees as interest so 5 lakh means 3 lakh if it is gone 2 lakh left in your pocket in 2 lakh you paid 33% tax so let's say 66 uh, you paid uh, how much 66 Thousand as tax, so two lakh minus sixty-six thousand, so one lakh thirty thousand will be left in your pocket. So profit after paying interest and tax will be one lakh twenty thousand out of five lakh. What you earned from the rental, you paid interest, you paid tax in your pocket, you will be left with one lakh twenty thousand. Clear, everyone clear. One lakh twenty thousand is your your own money. You can go eat pizza, do party, whatever you want to do. You can do that with that money. Okay. So what is the return on equity? Is <clears throat> or you can put back in the house, bring washing machine and everything, and increase the rental. So you can that one point two lakhs is the return on your twenty lakhs which you invested to buy the. अपार्टमेंट एटी लैख का तो लोन था उसका हमने इंटरेस्ट दे दिया प्रिंसिपल दे दिया सब दे दिया बैंक वाला चुप है अगले साल आएगा मेरे पास सो दिस वन पॉइंट टू लैक्स इज द मनी आई अर्न ऑन माई ट्वेंटी लैक्स ऑफ वॉट आई गिव एज अ इन्वेस्टमेंट फाइन डिविडेंट इज विल कवर इट लेटर जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दिस मच पार्ट वो डिविडेंट का थोड़ा लंबा हो जाएगा फिर ओके सो Dividend, don't worry. Just profit after tax divided by whatever money we got is called ROE. Return on equity. Everyone is okay so far, so good. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. No. Okay, so now how many companies we got by using this formula? We got around three ninety-seven companies, four hundred companies we got. Now ROE हो गया ये समझा दिया. Okay, so we need a company which is having a better ROE, right? So ROE fifteen or greater will be there. sales growth now one thing is uh, we need a company which should have a sales growth agreed we should have a company which is having a sales growth like we agreed how many of you agree we want a company we want to invest in a company which is having a sales growth year over year yes also we want a Company which is consistently having a profit growth year over year for three to five years, agreed? See, normally if a student is studious and if he is scoring seventy to eighty percent every year, then there is a possibility that it will keep scoring more marks in the coming exams, right? ऐसा नहीं होगा कि someone from thirty five percent will suddenly start scoring eighty percent. Doesn't happen for majority. So when we are selecting a company. we should select a company which is growing actually growing 10 to 15% year over year then there is a possibility of it to grow uh, in coming years also agreed okay wait hold on so uh, okay we'll skip this uh, so short listing is we will short list the companies which have at least 15% growth rate on following okay so what we will type in the query is one market capitalization we have all understood roce greater than 15% average return on capital employed 3 years will keep it as 10 for last 3 years whether the roce was greater than 10 or not 
then return on equity is greater than 15% or not okay we have done that average return on equity for 3 years should be greater than 10 so at least is saal ka jo hai wo 15% hai for last 3 years whether it was greater than 10% or not okay so let's put this values there and see so we have to put two more values here and r o c e for 3 years greater than 10 and r o e for 3 years greater than 10 okay let's run this query we have 368 okay then what we have to see we have to see sales growth for 3 years should be greater than 10 whether it is growing whether it is increasing sales for past 3 years greater than 10% year over year or not and profit growth in 3 years whether it is increasing 30% or not so these two are also what we will see because we want a company who is growing right who is increasing its sales every year on year profit year on year then only it is profitable to invest in that company so sales growth sales growth 3 years greater than 10 and profit growth 3 years greater than 30 and pledged pledged percentage equal to 0 which means the company has not kept any shares the promoters have not shares kept any shares as a pledge it has not girvi rakhna pata hai everyone knows what is girvi rakhna or pledge or it has not kept the shares to borrow money right so pledge percentage should be zero so let's run this query and now we have 103 companies ha huh. shares used as collateral is pledging okay so hindi mein girvi rakhna so <clears throat> this is the query okay so everyone okay market capitalization i have explained roe return on capital employed ros roce everyone is okay yes okay roe everyone is okay so we are comparing roce for last 10 year 3 years and roe for last year also same we are doing for last 3 years 10 years profit growth uh for 3 years it has been growing 30% consistently compounded we are taking that company's sales growth we are taking as 10% growth year over year and putting a filter and from 4109 companies how many companies are left now and 3 now this is the limit of filtration right so are we able to filter out ab to easy hai now at least we will be able to find good companies out of 103 it is not a very difficult task to find uh, good companies to invest because we know right they have been growing 10% and all we have still not seen what they do but at least we know they are growing past performance is good future performance kya hoga we'll have to analyze agreed okay so what i will do is don't type anything okay i'll paste this uh, filters in the chat okay so don't uh, type anything i'll type this filters in the chat you can copy and paste from the chat box i will pasting in the financial fitness group also this filters don't worry uh, this filters will be available just copy paste this filters no no don't say any thanks or okay okay just copy paste otherwise wo kahin gum ho jayega okay so you are able to reach 100 shares now let's say if i say okay just i want to can you see this raj ratan global here can you see raj ratan global yes okay now if i go and see in the chart rajratan global 
Okay, so in 2021 January, how much this share was worth? It was worth. Okay, something worth. We will understand how to see the chart, but at least everyone can see it was worth 71 rupees here in uh, January 2021, or maybe more. Sorry, in January it was somewhere around 94, 90 rupees. And today it is 664 rupees here. Can you see it has gone up from 90 rupees to 660 rupees in uh, one year? How many of you can see that? Yes. How much percentage will be approximately? Six hundred percent returns, correct? Seven times, yes. Correct. Now, how many of you think whatever screener we have learned is powerful to give us good stocks? How many of you believe that, okay, these filters will give us good stocks? I think there is a... Yeah, okay, let's see if I have, we have Deepak Nitride in this. A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. Deepak nitride. We have Deepak nitride. Yes. On number 25, we have Deepak nitride. Let's see what Deepak nitride has done. Okay. In one year from 842, it has gone to 1964, almost double. Yes. So here it is on 21st January, it was somewhere around 1000. It has become 1964. So this filters, whatever past performance we are doing, we can filter out uh, good stocks. So we have come from 410 to 100 stocks. How many of you have learned a lot of things since last two hours? We started at 10.30, now it's 12.30. How many of you have learned a lot in last two hours? How many of you think it is possible to earn in stock market by doing analysis by your own? It's possible, right? How many of you are feeling confident? See, that's what I said. If you are thinking you'll be able to print money, then remember the cycle wala case and the engineering what I told. Don't think four hours you'll do and you'll start printing money 100%. But at least how many of you are able to have confidence that yes, it is possible to filter out good stocks and work upon it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, how to further shortlist because 100 shares is also a big list, right? You cannot go and invest in all those 100 shares out of this 100 shares. Out of this 100 shares. Now, what you have to do is you have to shortlist basis what you understand. Like I said in the beginning, you don't have to invest in everything. You have to go and invest in what you understand. If you understand textile, go and find textile companies within this filtration, go and do the analysis for those companies. What you have to analyze is, now here is one thing, you have to go and analyze in that a list of 100 companies, pick up the companies which you understand. Don't worry ki yaar mere ko 100% chahiye, 200% chahiye, 500% chahiye. Don't run for that. First, go and analyze company which you understand. 
So this is what you should write down in your notebook. Once you identify the shares, shortlist, write down about that company. What is the core business, current capacity, available capacity in future, expected growth rate, why this company will grow in future, what it makes for the customer, why the customers will buy from it. Right, value addition to the customer. Why you think company will grow in future? What is the key area, key strength of this company? What is the mode of this company? Litigations, anything you have to read through their uh, annual report. And then, then once you are convinced that yes, we have shortlisted this company basis their past, correct? We have to think, will they be growing in coming future for next three to four years? If the answer is yes, then go and buy. So everyone, okay, first you have to shortlist basis past, but you should not invest your money basis the past performance. Past performance was past performance. We are analyzing the future performance. We have to invest. So you have to go and read the annual report and And then you have to analyze this, okay? So now what you have to do is you can go and here is where at the end of the uh, screener, we will do one session on screener, but you have a financial report here, which will give all the detail, what they're planning for the future, what is the outlook of the company, everything they will be able to tell. Okay, so this is the report. Yes, this is, some long report and uh, you should be reading at least five reports because here we are not talking about earning money for one month, two months. Here we are talking about financial freedom. So itna effort to marna hi padega. Otherwise, paisa kamana thoda sa difficult hai. Okay. So we have come so far. Let's so let's see what all is in our kitty. Okay, so we have agreed. We have learned a lot of things. And uh, what I'll be doing is uh, forty hours of uh, webinar. What uh, what all? See, this is beginning, right? Everyone is having ki yar abhi thoda aur depth chahiye. We want some more depth in this knowledge to be more confident on that. So we I have forty hours of free webinar. I also have advanced programs uh, which I'll be sharing on the group later on. So forty hours I'll be showing what all forty topics uh, I'll be sharing you every Tuesday and Thursday. Okay, so <clears throat> now. What we will do is we will take a break. Everyone okay with a break now?